This is lesson 3-1, writing expressions and equations. Earth has only one moon, but other planets have many moons. For example, Uranus has 21 moons, and Saturn has 10 more moons than Uranus. What operation would you use to find how many moons Saturn has? 10 more than 10 moons more than Uranus would indicate to us that would we, we would use addition here. In example 2, Jupiter has about 3 times as many moons as Uranus. What operation would we use here to find how many moons Jupiter has? 3 times as many would indicate to us that we would use multiplication. Words and phrases and problems often suggest addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Here are some examples. For addition, it's sum more than, increased by, in all. For subtraction, difference less than, less, decreased by. Multiplication and multiplication, each product multiplied twice. And division, divide, quotient, per, and separate. Write each phrase as an equation. Write the phrase, $5 more than Jennifer earned, as an algebraic expression. In words, $5 more than Jennifer earned, the first thing to do would be to choose a variable. In this case, we're going to let D represent the number of dollars Jennifer earned. The expression, then, is D plus 5, indicating $5 more than Jennifer earned. Write the phrase, three more runs than the Pirates scored, as an algebraic expression. So if we use p as our variable, variable for the number of runs the pirates scored, our expression would be p plus 3 for 3 more than the number of runs the pirates scored. Remember, an equation is a sentence in mathematics that contains an equal sign. When you write a verbal sentence as an equation, you can replace or use the equal sign for the words equals or is. In example 2, 6 less than a number is 20. n represents the number, and minus 6 is 20. Um, n minus 6 indicating less than is indicated by the equal sign 6 less than a number n is 20. In example 3, 3 times Jack's age equals 12. Let a represents Jack, represent Jack's age, so 3 times a equals 12, 3 times Jack's age, indicated by A, equals 12. Write each sentence as an algebraic expression. 7 more than a number is 15. So 7 more than a number, written like so, is 15. 5 times the number of students is 250. So 5A is 250. An addition equation and a multiplication equation. The tallest waterfall in the United States is Yosemite Falls in California with a height of about 739 meters. This height is 617 meters taller than Ravencliff Falls. What is the height of Ravencliff Falls? Write an equation that models this. H represents the height of Ravencliff Falls. Yosemite Falls is 739 meters tall, which is equal to the height of Ravencliff Falls represented by the H, increased by 617 meters, or 617 meters more than the height of Ravencliff Falls is equal to 739, which is the height of Yosemite Falls. North American cougars are about 1.5 times as long as cougars found in the tropical jungles of Central America. If North American cougars are about 75 inches long, how long is the tropical cougar? Well, if C represents the length of the tropical cougar, we would multiply that by 1.5 to indicate that the 75 inches long representing the height or the length of North American cougars is 1.5 times as long as C, the variable that represents the length of the tropical cougar. Which problem situation matches the equation x minus 5 and 38 hundredths is equal to 3 and 17 hundredths? 
We have four choices. You need to find which problem situation matches the equation. That's our task. So we read the item. To solve, we eliminate choice A because you cannot add or subtract different units of measure. As we read through this, we notice that we have kilometers and seconds. So we can quickly eliminate choice A. Lynn and Heather measured the length of worms in science class. Lynn's worm was 500 and 3,800 centimeters long, and Heather's was 3 and 1,700 centimeters long. What is x, the average length of the worms? Um, again, the giveaway here is average is found by adding, then dividing, so we can eliminate choice B. Choice C, we act out. If you gave the cashier x dollars and your lunch cost $5.83, you would subtract to find your change, $3.17. This appears to be the correct answer. Just in case though, we're going to check out choice D. To find the amount Mr. Carlos saved, you would calculate $5.38 minus $3.17 because um, he paid, the original cost was $5.83, he paid $3.17, he saved X dollars, which is not represented by the equation x minus 5 and 83 hundredths equals 3 and 17 hundredths. The correct answer then is C. Which problem situation matches the equation 4y equals 6 and 76 hundredths? Mrs. Thompson bought 4 gallons of gas. Her total cost was $6.76. What is y the cost of 1 gallon of gas? So if we took our 4 gallons of gas multiplied times y, that would equal $6.76, or the total cost of the gas. And that appears to be the right answer. We're always suspicious, though, in a multiple choice question when the first choice appears to be the right answer. We're going to carefully go through the other four. G, Jordan bought four CDs that were on sale for $6.76 each. What is why the total cost of the CDs? Well, we would go $6.76 times 4 equals Y. Clearly not the correct answer. The width of a rectangle is 4 meters. The length is 6 and 76 hundredths meters more than the width. What is why the length of the rectangle? Uh, the length plus 6 and 76 hundredths equals 4. Clearly not the right answer. The average yearly rainfall is 6 and 76 hundredths inches. Again, the word average tells us that we have to add then divide. Um, this indication indicates that this, again, is clearly not the right answer. We are going to stick with our first choice of F, which is the right answer. Write each phrase as an algebraic expression. Number one, a number increased by eight. A number increased by eight. Number two, $10 more than Grace has. G for Grace, $10 more. Number three, an equation. Nine less than a number equals 24. Number four, two points less than his score, his score, and two points less than that is four. Number five, twice the number of miles is 18, 2n is 18, twice the number, and 6 half the number would be n divided by 2 is 13. The median age of people living in Arizona is one year younger than the median age of people living in the United States. This information and the information at the right use this to write an equation to find the median age in the United States. Well, the median age in the United States represented by n um, is one more than the median age in Arizona. So if the median age in Arizona is 34.3, then the in median age in the United States is one less than that. So M minus one equals 34.3. Which problem situation matches the equation X minus 15 equals 46? The original price of a jacket is $46. The sale price is $15 less. So that would be 46 minus 15 equals x. Clearly not the right answer. 
Mark has several baseball cards. We don't know how many that is. He sold 15. He has 46 left. That appears to be the right answer. Sonia scored 46 points in last week's basketball game. Talisa scored 15 points less. What is X the total points Talisa scored? If Sonia scored 46, Talisa scored 15 less. What is X the amount that Talisa scored would be X plus 15 would equal Talisa's score. Clearly not the right answer. Katie earned $15 babysitting this week. Last week she earned $46. What is X her average earnings for the two weeks? Again, average represents add, then divide. So we would have to add 15 plus 46 divided by 2 equal to X. Clearly not the right answer. Our correct answer is B. Now, you should quit the video, go to my Moodle page, log in, take Lesson Quiz 3-1,